As happens with mass media, the message starts from the artist to reach a vast and indeterminate audience. The emotional resonance of artistic language shakes us. The artwork involves us, and questions us. The message needs us to be deciphered. To build the meaning, we have to understand it, to interpret it, to enter into the picture and let the picture enter into us. To read Ganika like a newspaper, means to answer the famous 5, W, of an article. What? Where? When? Who? Why? A large canvas, about 8 meters long, by 3.5 meters high, painted by Pablo Picasso. We are in the north of Spain, in the Basque country. April 26, 1937. It is already evening when the planes of the Condor Legion of the German Luftwaffe Air Force take off. In the sky above Ganika, planes drop tons of bombs that raise the city. The artwork represents the effect on the civilian population of this first ferocious and devastating aerial bombardment in the history of Europe. Picasso wants to tell the tragedy that has befallen the city, the desperation, and the horror. He wants to shout anger and outrage to the world. He wants to write in large letters a painful warning to humanity. Picasso works in a cultural context, in which intellectuals and artists absorb and metabolize Einstein's revolution on general relativity. This is not only a scientific, but a philosophical revolution. Picasso simultaneously assumes different points of view, which relativize the perception of sensible reality. He breaks down the scene and recomposes it, using different perspectives. Picasso is not limited just to the sense of sight, the figures seem to be the visual representation of a crime, so that the observer has the sensation of seeing the desperate screams of the citizens under the bombs. The entire composition seems to shout, rather than tell, the horror of that new story. The artist mixes, with his paintbrush, anger and indignation. The chromatic palette based on black and white, reproduces the colors of a newspaper page, where the article does not limit just to describing, but expresses the protest against the war. The torch of truth, illuminates the scene, so that the world can know it. The language, is the figurative one of art, with symbols, shapes, colors. To maximize communicative effectiveness, Picasso also uses the classic forms of pathos, gestures that express emotions, such as, pain, despair, horror.
On a deeper level, the picture could be considered a general warning towards war, understood as the continuation of politics by other means. A warning that could be extended to all historical periods in which uncertainty and fear direct the popular will towards the strong man, paving the way for totalitarian regimes. Totalitarianism, apparently, guarantees security and well-being, but upon payment of a very high price, in terms of freedom and peace. Picasso doesn't just paint, he draws lines that are like scratches. The fibers of the canvas emerge, like exposed nerves, through the lacerated skin of the painting. What emerges, is the horror, printed directly on a page of history. The expressive power overwhelms the observer, like the explosion of a bomb. The eyes, the cries, the dismembered bodies are there on the big screen of a tragic cinema. The spectator enters the scene, gets overwhelmed by emotions. Just like the painter, like the brush, that drops paint, tears, blood, 